So hi everyone. I have a dear, dear student and who's again secured really high score in the recent FMG exam. So heartiest congratulations, Emily. Uh, she's got a score of 197 in the FMG Jan exam. So, so proud of you. Heartiest congrats. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. It was really amazing and memorable journey with Dams. Uh, Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much for making us a part of your journey. We are so happy and proud of you. Now, Emily, I'm sure the result wasn't expected today, was it? No, ma'am. <laughs> Actually, so I was going for today? a uh, yeah, I was going for a birthday celebration today, and suddenly oh. one of my friend called and said that result is out, and I was really shocked. I was very tensed also. <laughs> and then, then when you saw the result, were you how? What were the first feelings? <laughs> Did you, for did you check your score was... twice? Yeah, I checked my score twice <laughs> because first time I was not, uh, I was not, it was not believable. Then I scored, checked the score twice. Then I informed everyone, or my parents, yes. my relatives, everyone, this and so they were so also nice. very happy. So, are mom and dad happy for you? I'm sure they are. Thank you, ma'am. And so the dance nice. really helped me. Uh, the notes were very conceptual and it was really a proper guidance. And I'm really grateful to the, all the teachers of the dams. Thank you. Thank you, Bache. So are we. We are grateful to all of you to give us an opportunity to be a part of your journey, right? Yes, ma'am. Especially the FMG Express was really helpful. For the last few days, it was really helpful. <laughs> Right. We did because, uh, you know, the whole subject. We did the revision of the whole subjects in just one day, and it was really helpful. Great, because you know, yes, because in the end, it becomes so overwhelming at times that you really don't know what to revise, what not to revise, what to leave. Yes. So, if you have uh, something from the teacher's side that the teachers believe in, that you know, this is what my student would need, I think then it just reinforces and it makes you more confident. Yes, ma'am. Uh, is it was really helpful. Means the the notes were very conceptual, very uh, uh, crips concept, and it was re it really helped me over the last few days. <laughs> and uh, and offline classes were also very good. Uh, yes, because yes, you know, coming to the class itself, uh, you yes. know, makes you feel ki, okay. At least I've done something today. I've moved one step forward. So, you know, we just take one day at a time, keep doing our best in that day. And that's what the journey is all about, right? Yes, ma'am. Now, tell me, Emily, when you started your preparation, I mean, um, uh, a lot of things you would have heard about how difficult the paper is, how low the pass percentage is, mm -hmm. uh, how many attempts people take, right? So, uh, when you started, what were the feelings? Uh, then during the journey, what were the feelings? And then on the day of the exam, how did things unfold? Um, um, let me clear first. This was my first attempt. I passed Wonderful. my uh, final. Uh, I passed my professional exam on uh, October 2023. So after that, I just started preparing for FMG because the uh, professional exam preparation is a little bit different than FMG because mm -hmm. there you have to study more uh, practical things, clinical examinations and all, uh, case studies. Yeah. Uh, uh, from the month of uh, October, I started preparing for FMG and I all started uh, uh, reading all my uh, first year, second year subjects, which almost I forgot <laughs> at the end of fifth year. So yeah. then I started reading all those things. And um, from the month of November, FMG Express started. So I, um, may, uh, I have done all the videos of uh, that and uh, I revised all the subjects. And I joined DAMS from April 2023. Okay. I started uh, taking offline classes from April okay. 2023. Yeah. That's that's wonderful. And uh, Emily, on the day of the exam, so there were two sets. And I'm sure that after the first set, uh, everyone was more confident about the paper. But uh, I think paper two did the twist. Yes. After the first set, I thought that maybe the second paper would be a little bit easier. But... <laughs> that doesn't happen. The second paper was more tough. 
and yes. especially the especially the optha optha that was really very tough ent was also bit tough but ophthalmology was very difficult uh this and surgery was bit easy surgery was easy uh, gyne gyne was also easy but uh, ophthalmology was, i was very tense for that subject <laughs> and also you know i want to know uh, emily after you have given the paper yes. and it was your first attempt um i would want to ask a few things which are like misconceptions about the fmg exam number 1 if somebody asks you can i leave certain subjects can i leave the short subjects can i prepare only the big 5 or the big 7 subjects what is your answer to that Uh, my answer is no. I will suggest that uh, read all the nineteen subject because I did that. Because every uh, every every M- MCQ counts, you know. Yeah, asks, every MCQ. So uh, if I ask someone who's got a one forty seven or a one forty eight today, you know how much it hurts, uh, because they're just left behind with one number, two questions, and then you know if you had not left something behind, things can change. So change please the, don't. Yeah. don't leave behind things cover everything my second question to you is emily uh, do you think superficial knowledge uh, can help let's say suppose i am doing surgery but i want to do only six seven big big topics and not do the others or same in obs and gyne can we do that no 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 I, not at all uh, we have to go in depth of every subject uh, because uh, especially with the new pattern which is more clinical yes. now more clinical based questions and they are asking uh, conceptual questions not that one liners uh, yes. so uh, the pattern is changing day by day so we have to uh, read all the subject in full depth uh, superficial knowledge will won't help in fmg right so i would say you know uh, when the subject faculty comes uh, have faith in them have faith in the process uh when we come and teach you we know how much depth we need to go in a particular topic which topic we can be a little superficial and that will be fine so you know don't uh, don't do a self assessment on that uh, take help of subject experts yeah. uh, you know in order to curate the course for you and that is what at dams we really want to do right yeah. we want to ensure uh, that, that we teach you concise and crisp but at the same time it should give you a good coverage also right yeah yeah Yeah, pe- uh, students generally think that uh, for the short subject, superficial knowledge will only help. Only the main main topics will read and go. But uh, this this time from the short subject also very conceptual and uh, yeah. from the depth they ask the question. So uh, we have to have the sound knowledge of every subject. Right. And mm-hmm. also tell me how did you keep your calm on the day of the exam? I mean. Um, maybe you know some questions make you feel ki kaisa hoga but how did you keep your calm on the day because i think that is also very very essential yeah um, i just boosted up uh, i just motivated myself uh, yes. or this my parents were also thing. there yeah uh, they were also waiting outside and uh, before entering the exam hall they also motivated me and uh, on the in the exam hall some questions were really very tough uh, so i skipped those questions and i was not sure of the answers so that uh, that time i got some demotivated uh, then af- then the next questions when i keep going then after attain uh, giving the uh, next questions like then my confidence came back yes so you have to you have to go with one question at a time and you have to believe that yeah. every question is giving you a new opportunity so just yeah. because you you couldn't do the previous two does not mean you can not do the next five right so just yeah. keep your calm and uh, push through acha and uh, now emily i really want to ask you uh, what would you want to say to juniors you know who uh, who are trying for the next exam upcoming fmg exam i will just say one thing that uh, keep faith in only one platform don't run after two three platforms it, it is really very bad uh, because you will get uh, confused what to read and what not to read so keep faith on only one teacher one platform and um, just do your uh, hard work give your best and you will get the result 
That's really sweet of you, Emily. So the entire Times family is going to wish you a very bright future ahead. And, uh, you know, mm-hmm. I want to tell you that this is the beginning of a new era in your life. Uh, I yes, want ma'am. to repeat this interview after your NEET PG exam as well. Yes? Sure, ma'am. Sure, ma'am. Hopefully, I will meet you. Of course, yes. We will uh, definitely meet very soon, Emily, in mm-hmm. Delhi, yeah. which she's done exceedingly well. And we yeah. are so proud of Emily. So thank you, Emily, for making Dams a thank part you. of your journey. The entire thank faculty you, ma'am. Thank you. is going to give you good wishes and all the best. Thank you. Thank you, Dams. Thank Have you, a great ma'am. day. Bye. Enjoy. Thank you, ma'am. Bye, ma'am.